front office staff in basic Kenyan sign language and a disability etiquette in a bid to enhance financial services access and inclusion in celebration of the International Day of a Persons with Disabilities. Speaking during the ceremony, DTB Finance and Strategy Director Al Karim Jibwa has said the move is meant to integrate persons living with disabilities in the banking sector, which is in line with the bank's customer centric strategy, boasting strategy. So, we are very excited to have partnered with the Deaf Institute of Communication and Sign Language because it has allowed us to equip uh, our staff to communicate to our critical stakeholders, uh, our customers. Uh, in a way that we can uh, impact their lives, that we can service them uh, to their uh, expectations. And through this partnership, we've been able to train uh, over 50 of our employees uh, to learn uh, the, the sign language and to then apply it as they interact with, uh, with our customers who are hearing impaired. Communication is at the heart of relationships. And the DTB uh, relationships uh, speak to our very being. And if we are going to be able to communicate across all class of our shareholders, and if we remain true to our purpose of driving inclusion and equity, uh, then it's important that we are equipped to talk to all uh, range of our customers. And so in uh, enabling our people to learn the sign language, We've capacitated them, we believe, to uh, communicate this, this important stake of stakeholders, uh, which is our customers. We are very happy with the bank that they have the idea that uh, there is this community of persons with disability that they, they felt they needed to include them in the uh, financial services that they provide. And the only way to have done that in an, an adequate way is to empower and train the staff of the bank so that they are able to articulate their services much better. And we are very happy to have partnered with the DTB